Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about how I edit portraits that were shot during sunrise. They were backlit, um, so the sun was behind the model. As you see, the haze is quite strong and orange, so I kind of want to balance the photo and just make sure that um, it looks nice and vibrant, um, but yet there's a bit more detail and it's not as hazy as the original. So as you see here, we have the original, um, that's the way it looks. It's quite gray or not gray, but it's just, you know, the colors are kind of similar um, and there isn't really much distinguishing meant be between the model and the background and so on. Here's the image that I edited. It's like the final photo. So this is how it's starting and this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to kind of show you how I kind of got to it. Okay, so uh, we are going to start with just looking at the model, seeing if there's anything on her skin. I don't think so, because she had perfect face. Um, as you see, you can't really see much detail because of the strong kind of haze. So I'll just leave it for now. I don't think there needs to be any work done for now anyway. So I'm going to just start with uh, curves and I'm going to go for... A highlights and shadows curve so I'll just go at the top there and at the bottom because I think it needs some good shading now I won't worry about the color because as I'm working on it it is going to become quite intense so I'm not worrying about it I will balance it in a second so that should be fine okay so as you see I did a tiny bit of highlights I did it on input 228 output 255 now for the darks i did input 14 um because i feel like it does need quite a bit of contrast okay now um the next thing i'm going to create another curve layer but this time it's going to be a contrast curve so i'm going to put a point in the middle maybe brighten a tiny bit but nothing too drastic i don't think it needs much more light and then i'm going to put a bit more contrast on it now, as you see, the image is turning quite orange and I do want to avoid that because um, as beautiful as the colors are, I just think they aren't um, as great on the skin. It's just the entire image looks very, um, very strong. So a um, good way to balance that is just go to um, photo filter. And it's a bit of an unusual to use, but um, but I find it works quite well when you have to um, balance a very strong color. And I'm going to go to cooling filter. And as you see, it takes down the um, the orangeness quite a lot. You can try other ones as well, um, but I find they have loads of uh, red tones underneath. So the last one usually works the best. So as you see, um, the color um, intensity got down quite a lot already it's quite not much nicer i think and um and in general just photo isn't that orange okay so i might actually create another curve layer and i'm going to kind of keep doing that until i get the right kind of color and intensity now i do kind of like it a bit brighter but maybe if i went a bit more into the blacks because i kind of feel like it does need a bit more contrast I do kind of like that okay so I'm going to do, as you see I put I, I um went up on the histogram so I made it a bit brighter and then I went into the blacks um, area on the curve so it's the bottom and I just put it up to 16 um, because it feels a bit better to me anyway um, so as you see there's much more darkness happening here obviously um kind of as you go up to the image because there's more sun there um it gets brighter but again uh, i'm not really concerned about that that much okay so now that i have that i'm going to go and grab hue saturation and lower the saturation a good bit especially on her skin i don't really mind if there's quite a bit of like orange uh, orange colors happening in the background but it's just on her, I don't want it to be super um, orangey. And now I might even do that. That's um, hue plus five. Um, if you go to the left, it's going to turn more reddish, um, pinky. And if you go to the right, it's going to be more yellow green. So that's just a little tip for the future. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to invert the mask control eye. 
and I'm going to go just over her so I'm going to leave the background um, as it is and I'm just going to reduce the color on her body so I'm going to grab a white brush um, I can put the flow up a bit higher maybe around 20 maybe 19 and I'm just going to go over her body um, and whatever I want the colors basically to be kind of less drastic if you can put it that way okay and as you see um, you're getting a much more balanced skin tone which is great okay now finally I feel like there still needs to be a tiny bit more shadows in the face area I still feel like it's slightly um, slightly kind of hazy so I might go back to the um, blacks on the curve another curve layer and just go quite drastic to kind of match the face the way I want it maybe a bit brighter mm. or I might try a contrast curve I'll see what works better I think that could work quite well um, now I'm going to invert the mask again so control I and I'm going to go over the face area especially kind of more than over the rest of the body because that's where I want most of the contrast to be Now I might put it down a tiny bit because it seems a bit contrasty, just a tiny little bit. So maybe I'll go to opacity 80. That's a bit better. Um, and now I am going to go back to hue saturation and I think I might lower it down even a tiny bit more. So maybe minus 25, 24, around there. Now there's this little corner here that really annoys me in the photo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the stamp tool and I'm going to sample the image kind of here and I'm just going to get rid of the corner because I find it very irritating. So I need to put up my flow up to 100. So even something like that it doesn't really have to be anything um, particular as you know it doesn't really show that much anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to go to her face now that I can see a bit more detail. Sorry, I keep zooming on the chest area. Um, and now I'm just going to go a tiny bit so it just doesn't look, um, if there's any areas like here that needs a bit of work, then I'll just do that. So I'll lower my flow back to maybe two. Um, it doesn't have to be drastic at all. And I'll just kind of go over this area here because I feel like it needs a bit more. Just like a dark curl shadow there. Those are like very little fixes, obviously, as you can see. Um, I don't think her face needs anything else. Now. I almost feel like there's too much contrast on her face. Um, I feel like her face is too bright. So I might create another curve layer and go a bit darker. I actually kind of like that even for the entire image, but for now I'll just do it on the face. Um, cause I just feel like it's a bit too bright in here. Yeah, I find that this is a bit better. Um, I might actually do it even a bit more. In an image like that, it's not about the brightness or it's not about the contrast as such as, you know, it is a specific kind of image. But um, it is important to kind of keep everything nice and same looking. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go and create yet another curve layer. And maybe darken the image ever so slightly. Okay, so now 
let me see a quick before and after to see how far I've gone with the image. I always do that from time to time. It just kind of helps me to see kind of what progress I've made. As you see, it's quite drastic with just a little um, curve adjustments. Um, there's obviously much more detail on the face. It's much more um, visible. You can see the lovely haze in the background. Um, but you have much more details on the model and you can see her face and so on. So I think it's quite an improvement. Now I am going to go a tiny bit over her legs just here. Nothing drastic. I just want to make it look a bit more even. So this I'm just literally grabbing a brush on a very low flow around 2% and I just go over the skin with the skin color so I just sample the brush and I just go over the skin so we just kind of even it out. I'm quite happy with it. I think we've done quite a lot with just few adjustments. So I think for those kind of images when you have a backlit image um, it's very important to kind of adjust the contrast and uh, um, hue and saturation. You know the saturation can be usually quite high if you do a lot of contrast and a lot, a lot of darkness in the image. So always remember to kind of balance it out you know just kind of have a look at what you're doing. Um, I usually lower the hue saturation quite drastically as you saw kind of around 25 or whatever you can only apply them or you know you can apply them to the parts of the image that you need i feel the background was fine so i just applied it to her so she doesn't look too orange and then another thing was also using the um photo filter i i feel like it did quite quite a lot to the image so as you see here if i take it down it makes the image quite orange and here kind of takes it down quite a lot so it kind of makes it nice and mellow rather than having this strong orange color so again as you see before and after it's quite a huge difference if we zoom out the face it's quite an insane difference with just few curve adjustments and you know the photo filter and hue and saturation so it's very simple you know photoshop doesn't have to be difficult the photos don't have to be insanely you know complicated so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'm actually thinking about doing a live feed a right live or touching feed so let me know what you think about that I might be streaming at some stage. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week.